Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will derive electric field for conducting sphere. Here, I'll consider three different cases for a calculation of electric field. In first case, I will consider electric field calculation outside the conducting sphere. In second case, I'll consider electric field calculation on the surface of conducting sphere. And in third case, I will calculate electric field inside the conducting sphere. So here you can observe we have conducting sphere. So here we are considering one conducting sphere that is having radius capital R. And I'll calculate electric field with three different cases. In first case, I will consider distance R which is greater than radius R means outside the conducting sphere. In second case, I will calculate electric field on the surface of this conducting sphere means small r is equals to capital R. And in third case, I will consider calculation of electric field inside conducting sphere means distance r will be less than r. Now, here you need to understand how charge distribution happens. Let us consider with this conducting sphere, we are depositing charge Q. If you deposit charge Q on this conducting sphere, then charge is uniformly distributed on the surface only. See, as and when you have any volume body, and if you deposit charge on that body, then that charge is getting uniformly distributed on the surface of that body. So here, see this charge Q that is getting distributed uniformly on this surface. So you can observe, I'm showing it over here, that capital Q charge that stays on the surface of conducting sphere and inside the conducting sphere, there will be zero charge, right? Entire charge that is getting distributed on the surface. Now, what I'll do is I'll consider first case in which I'll do calculation of electric field with outside case where radius R that is greater than this radius capital R. Here, let us consider one point where distance with respect to center R is greater than capital R, right? So, but obviously at this point, because of charge Q, electric field will happen in this direction. And for this particular case, now I'll explain you calculation of electric field. Now here, I will apply Gauss's law for electric field. Gauss's law for electric field states that total flux passing through this entire surface, that is surface integration of electric field. So total flux passing through this entire surface, that is equals to charge enclosed by that surface divided by epsilon naught. So here you need to understand what is the angle between electric field and differential surface. So here, if I consider here, we have differential surface, then direction of differential surface, that is this. And you will be observing angle between electric field and surface that is zero. Means here, electric field and differential surface that is parallel to each other. So angle over here is zero. So E dot ds, that is E ds cos theta, where theta is 0 means cos 0 is 1. So integration EDS, that is electric field into surface area. So here electric field, that is E, and surface area, which is shown by this red color dashed line, that is having radius R. So that will be 4 pi small r square, that is equals to Q divided by epsilon naught. So here electric field, that is, if you take this term on other side, then 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by small r square. So that is what the basic calculation that will happen with electric field outside the conducting sphere, right? Now I'll consider second scenario in which I will consider this distance r that is equals to capital R means here I'll be considering calculation of electric field on the surface, right? So you can observe here, 
R is equals to capital R means on surface now we will identify electric field. So again we will apply Gauss's law of electric field. So as per Gauss's law as I have told you total flux that is surface integration of electric field that is total charge enclosed by the given surface divided by epsilon naught. So here see on surface total charge enclosed by this surface that is Q only and on surface electric field that will be in outward direction and differential area and electric field that is parallel to each other. So here you will be observing this surface integration will be electric field into area that is 4 pi capital R square that is equals to Q by epsilon naught. So here electric field on the surface that will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into capital Q by capital R square. Right. And in third situation what I will do is I will consider calculation of electric field inside the conducting sphere. If you consider inside the conducting sphere then here you can observe radius that will be lower than capital R. So here small r that is lower than capital R. So inside the conducting sphere if you apply Gauss's law of electric field then total flux passing through enclosed surface that is surface integration of electric field that is total charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Here see I have told you see entire charge that is getting distributed on the surface only. So inside sphere charge will be zero. So here inside sphere charge will be zero means this integration that is zero. So you can say electric field inside this sphere will be zero. Right. So now we have calculated electric field with this three different cases outside on the surface and inside. So let us try to understand that by graph. So at last you can understand everything at one look. So here see we have distance r on x axis and on y axis we have electric field. See inside sphere means from 0 to r electric field is 0 right. So inside the sphere electric field is 0 over here and at distance r electric field that is getting maximum and its value that is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q by r square and after that if you increase the distance then electric field that will decrease by the proportion of 1 by r square. So in graph you can understand that in this way electric field that will decrease like this right. So let me note down those data see inside sphere it is 0 on the sphere it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by capital R square and outside this sphere means R is greater than capital R it is decreasing as per 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by small r square. So here you can say electric field that is decreasing by the proportion of 1 by r square. So that is how complete calculation that one can understand for calculation of electric field due to conducting sphere. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still if anything that you would like to share then just note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.